applying patches. So the process of applying patches is pretty much similar to how we have used the FAP MGR utility for running the validation and impact analysis report. The only thing that you make it different are the parameters in FAP MGR utility specific to applying the patches. So let's go back to the terminal and I'm going to show you how you can apply the patches using FAP MGR utility. So I'm going to pull back the command that we gave it previously for running the impact analysis report and I'm going to simply delete the first two command for impact analysis report and instead of that you write apply okay and then you give the patch top okay and the exact path of the patch top okay then the patches can be applied in online as well as offline mode so it's up to you how you would like to apply for larger patches you may want to apply them offline mode Whereas if it's a small bug fixes, you may want to simply apply it online mode. Again, it also depends on what the Oracle instructions are there in the readme.txt file, which is a part of the patch application. So if it is advised in readme.txt file that you should apply in online mode, then you should apply in online mode. However, if it's the other way around, then you should bring down your servers and apply the patch in the offline mode. So in our case, we have a small bug fix and our server is up and running right now. So it is in online mode. So I would apply a patch in the online mode itself. So to specify online mode to the FAP MGR utility, you simply write this command online. And then you can optionally specify the number of workers that you would like to give let's say depending on your server if your server has got multiple processors then you can specify higher number of workers so the patch application would be faster but if you don't specify the number of workers then the default number of workers will be taken depending on your processor speed and the number of threads it's got in it so anyway to specify the workers i believe you've got to write workers command and then you specify the number of workers it could be let's say five or it could be ten something like that so let's say five workers and then i'm going to hit the enter button to hopefully apply this patch okay so here we have to give probably specify one of these commands so as you could see we've got to specify one of these options stop on error or continue on error so to do that I'm gonna make it over here something like this and let's see what happens Okay, great. So it's going through now. Since it's a smaller patch, I hope it wouldn't take that long. And all the time while the patch is being applied it is generating these log files which you can open it later if at all there are any issues or any errors that you encounter at the end of applying this patch so 
so as you could see it's completed applying the database components of the patch and then it started identifying post apply task completed identifying post apply task and then it started shutdown of the managed servers so these managed servers are the one which will be impacted by the patch and after it has shut down i believe it will apply the patches onto them and then we'll try to restart those managed servers now if you would like to know which managed servers are going to get impacted you can scroll up and look for the patch impact analysis report that we ran you can see it will be in relation to the financials family that would be impacted right so what I'm gonna do at this stage is to pause for some time and then come back as soon as it ends up in applying the patch and restarted the middleware component for this patch so as you could see it has taken another 10 minutes time to restart the managed servers and complete the patch application and at the end of it it's generated a log file which can be viewed at this directory path by the name of this particular diagnostic summary file if you like you can download it from your server in fact we can do it quickly now to see how it looks like so I'm gonna go back to our server and look for that file so I believe that is the file it is referring to is it not 447.html and then I'm gonna transfer it over here okay now let's go and open it and here is the file and there you go so here you can see what was happening in terms of the FA patch manager utility so it started with the environment validation then DB patch validation then middleware patch validation then it started with creating the packages which includes obviously package specification creation and package body creation then it ran the DB cleanup task then it processed the fusion objects and roles and it compiled the invalid objects in the database and it has done that again then it started and completed the middleware patch application any other task to look for for any errors and reports it will show in this particular section so there are none at the moment and then it this is more details about the patch application so we have specified the number of workers as five which is fine it just gave us a warning because in my case the processor minimum is 12 and I can give a maximum of 24 okay but never mind I think it's adjusted that and here it gives more application details and the status of that so you can see whether anything has failed so it's good to see that everything has been successful so any other pending task to be completed there are none so that's how you see the patch report and this is how you go about applying the patch application